no, I can apologize. It, you know, if it was there for, for two years and we were aware of it and that wasn't done, that's definitely a, a failing. And then it's something that I can apologize for. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a failing which has caused ongoing crime to continue. Yeah, no, I can appreciate if that's, you know, the, the case, then that's it. We would need to have a look at and see. I find, well, if, if, to be honest with you, um, I have found nothing else but bullying and intimidation when dealing with Cure. I've dealt with the lies. I've dealt yeah. with my personal data being destroyed or removed from your offices, whichever way, but my personal data has gone. My life's been put in danger, and at the end of the day, all Cure were interested in was getting the money paid by the council and not the tenant. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't say that, but I, I can definitely say we, we need to get you sorted. So we can't, you know, there's a situation here that I'm, I'm slightly concerned that it's not somewhere that I'd be happy to, uh, you know, learn that the, the situation is, is where it is, that it's your feet flattened and it's, it's having an impact on your quality of life, if nothing else. That's something that we need to Well, no, it has had a quality of impact on my life because I've been left partially sighted. Yeah. And I'm also left now, and I've been diagnosed with PTSD. Because this has just been going on and on and on. And as a tenant, I don't know how else to resolve this with Kyoru. Yeah, I can, I can appreciate that. I because can, I can when, that. when I actually come to your offices with the police, they explain yeah. in detail what has been happening, that my life has been put in danger. They tell Kuro, you know, this tenant, we, we've advised him not to be there as much as possible because we cannot patrol 24-7. And we've left it for you to deal with. And, and Kuro has ignored that too. And then for you to come back to me and say, oh, well, well, you know, obviously something's gone wrong. Something has gone very wrong for 10 years. And I feel as a yeah. tenant that I have been victimised exactly the same way by Kuro as I have been by the criminals. Yeah, and that's it. So that, you know, if that's the case, then it's definitely something that, that needs addressing. So I think what I'm saying to you is try have a chat with Sarah, see if you know she can tell me what happened with you know the, the, the work Anna was dealing with when he left the company, and then see who might be dealing with the situation at the moment. Then. Hopefully we can get some result. I mean, the first priority I'd say for me is to get you sorted and then we can well, the first, deal with everything else that's going on over the time. The first and the very first right. priority is to sort out with the council my housing benefit. Okay, so that's and what, what Jane was, was going to do, wasn't And it? these anonymous telephone calls. Because, you know, it makes no difference anyhow. The police have said to me, for your own safety, don't be there. Yeah. You've been advised by the police, so you should already be working with the council anyhow. Yeah, you have yeah that's something that we've been advised by them in, in one of those meetings. Then uh, I'm sure, yes, provisions could be taken so that we were aware, they were aware that that, that was what the living situation was with yourself. And we need to have a look at that and see. You know, the, the very uh, fact that I have to go back to this house is bad enough. And yeah, I have I tried to obtain alternative accommodation through Kuro. Yeah. And because of my severe disabilities, Kuro have offered exactly the opposite to my needs. Okay. I was offered a house in Weston. And yeah. I couldn't even get to it. Okay, so, so you need to have for you the needs that you have, okay, and okay. Okay, well, I'm going to Okay. Okay, so, so, and so what I need to do is, uh... When, in 2011, uh, the bollards were put up in front of the property by Councillor Ball and Bath City Council working with Curo under a pretext of cars racing around the estate, which was absolute nonsense, there hasn't been one episode of this. As a disabled person in sheltered housing, I was blocked in. The law said at that point that at any time, if there is to be any obstruction, then the tenants have to be notified. There was no notification. 
and in an attempt to get into my home, I collapsed and lost part of my eyesight. And Kiora were responsible. And once Kiora received the letter from the hospital that this is what had happened, then my house is went. Yes. And this is why I feel that this really has got to go to a solicitor if you can't sort this out right now. Yeah, I do understand what you're saying. Let me, um, let me see. So I think yeah. as far as going on, it's not something that's going to have uh, a solution that, you know, just before it until I can talk to the emergency room and work out who's doing what and what the latest thing is. Um, so I think I, I'm going to talk to Sarah, who I said is the line manager for Alan, and see if she can give me an update on what's happening about Alan's work. And from there, we can hopefully see what the last thing is and what we're actually doing for you at the moment. Right, and, and what about this business with the housing benefits? How are you going to work with Bath City Council? So with your benefit, that's something that, that Jane, he's so dirty, he's, 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 I don't see what she's actually said, so just left that. Well, I think, she I think is, yeah, she's going to get in touch with, uh, with Baines and uh, have a chat with about what, what the situation is and then hopefully get that sorted. Yeah, but I, I think yeah. Jane has got to be made aware also of the situation. So that, yeah, I mean, Jane can deal with that, she, she's the accounts department. Sarah hopefully can tell me who's dealing with, you know, this, this antisocial behaviour side of things. And we can also then, you know, if we need to get in touch with the council about that, if that's something that needs to be done. But certainly, you know, the, 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 that we can do on that side. But, but, but personally, I, I'm sick and tired of the, the type of attitude and the bullying from Kyoro, who, you know, it's against the law what has been done to me. Yes, I can understand that, and, and I appreciate that. You know, if, if it is as you said, then that it clearly needs addressing. I do, I do understand that. And for Kuro to that's leave this point. thing on the wall for two years as an example is disgraceful. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. You know, if we're aware of it, and it's. Well, it of course, we're aware of it. I got the letters to your uh, manager at the time, Alan Kelly. Yeah to say, please remove this, but it wasn't. I've got his assurances that this would be done from October. It wasn't done. Yeah, so I, I have to have a look and see why that wasn't done. And it's clearly, you know... It, but, this, but this is still harassment that I've had from Kuro. Yeah, so I'm dealing with criminals, I'm dealing with a housing association which isn't dealing with uh, the tenants on a legal basis like they should. Because I've approached you, I've said I need help. The police have approached you, and you've ignored everything. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say that I would possibly, I wouldn't say I wouldn't know that we'd ignored anything. I can see there are things going on, it's just as to what they are is what I need to find out from this room. And so I, I, but I appreciate that, you know, things have, have sort of taken time, I don't know what's gone on in well, the middle and how it's been handled. they've taken time, I, I, think, I think ten years is quite long enough, don't you? I would agree definitely, yes, yeah. ten years is, is a, it's much too long to put up with, you know, that kind of behaviour and then the situation you've been, been in. I, and this, I agree and this is why, yes. you know, when I speak to Ben Howlett on the 11th, I'm going to be putting a complaint about Kyoro. Yeah. And how my, not only, you know, that I lost my eyesight, but also how my life has been put in danger how my housing files have been removed from your offices, how I've attempted time and time again with Alan Kelly and so have the police with the meetings, and yeah. this has still been ignored. And whilst you say, yes, you can see there's a lot going on, there hasn't been one tangible uh, solution forthcoming, apart from everybody I've dealt with have suddenly up and left. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure why, you know, what, why that's been happening. I, I, I as I said, have a look at what's going on. But I, I would like to hopefully see if we can find out what is going on at the moment. I, I would hope that it hasn't, as I said, ended with, with Alan leaving. And uh, uh, yeah. I need to get this with Sarah. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Now, could you please uh, ask Sarah to give me a call this afternoon? I can just let me check she is in. I will get her to you. So, Sarah, she, she, she as I said, is or was Alan's. Let me see where she is. Okay. So Sarah is not in today. She's not in until next week. So she's off this week, but she's in next week. That doesn't help me too much. Okay. Uh, well, no, fair enough. Fair enough on that. But 
what happens in the meantime, my housing benefit isn't being paid. Yes, don't so that you, part, we can deal with that sort of deal with, yes. Well, if you can deal with this as a matter of priority in the situation, yeah. I really would appreciate it. Absolutely fine. Let, let, me, uh, let me give Jane a chance to have a chat with the council. I will give Jane a call this afternoon, Jane, she spoke to earlier, um, and see if we can give you an update on what's happening with your house and okay. so we can hopefully get that part sorted. We have found, you know, the stress of a disabled person having to sneak in and sneak into a house is unacceptable. Really unacceptable. But then, of course, to find that there was a... This gentleman, Mr. Ebrahimi, and I spoke to the family last week on how he was treated, and I can see exact parallels between his case and mine. Yeah. Then I think that the time for negotiation is coming to an end. Mm. No, I, I, I always think yes. I think if you know, given the gravity of the things that are going on, it is something that it needs to be dealt with very seriously. I agree. I, uh, I think so. Let me see. First thing I can do, if I ask Sarah to give you a call next week when she's in. That would be lovely, yeah. Then we can hopefully get that aside. Yeah. Can, that I, can I um, now have your assurances uh, that between now and next week I will not receive any calls to say your housing benefit isn't being paid, we want you out of the property because, you know, I, I, I've tried to work out with you now a way forward. Yeah, and I, I, can, uh, I can pop a note and say that, 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 we, that what the situation is, so anyone from because, within Kura can clearly see that that's you yeah. know, a situation. Because I, I think happen. if this were to be uh, discussed fully with the MP as to how serious this situation has become, I don't think he's going to be very pleased with Kuro either. No, I don't imagine he would be. No, I, I would agree there. I think, you know... To any, it, to it, any it, disabled it, person it, has been put through so much, had so much destruction, and we're looking at thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pounds worth of damage. Yeah. That has happened over a 10, in fact, coming up to 12-year period. And I've got all the documentation where I've tried to sort it out. The police have got records as to where they have tried to sort it out. Yes. And in 12 years, Kioro has not done a thing to resolve this, apart yeah. from put me in further danger. Uh, yeah, I'd have to look and see, you know, what's been done, but I think that's... Yeah, something needs, needs looking at. So, so I think... As I said, I think the best way is get the situation sorted and then we can sort of look back and see what's gone wrong and, and deal with it. But so, rather than, you know, you so, so safe careful, you know, I'm perfectly happy to come down to your office and, and meet you at any time, but I'm not going to be made a spectacle with my neighbours who obviously at that point will then know that you're visiting and that you're, you know, yes, taking it off. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to be in that situation anymore. Very true. I've had acid, I've had paint, I've had arson. I do not intend to put my life on the line any longer because of the negligence of your organisation. No, I, I appreciate that. I can, I can see that that's something, yes, we need to find a way to work around if we need to have a chat with you and things like that. And we can do that without, you know, putting yourself in danger, absolutely. Uh, I would need to see what's going on. So that, that, that's why I meant to talk to Sarah. I think about that again. Um, so Alan, Alan was dealing with it, Sarah was his manager, so I will talk to her on Monday morning, yes. first thing. I will ask her to give you a call uh, on Monday, just so she can tell you what's happening. What is Sarah's uh, other name, please? Sarah Seeger. Seeger, right. Sarah so at least I know when she telephones, okay. Okay, yeah. so let me let me send a message just so uh, she knows what I need to talk about on Monday. I will talk to Jane again this afternoon and see if we've got an update on the house benefit situation. Right. And uh, I will then ask uh, either myself or Jane to give you a call and just let you know what's happening with that one. That would be okay? lovely, please. Okay. Yes, I will look forward to your call this afternoon regarding the house and benefit situation. And as I said, I will pop a note on just so that everyone in, in Kuro can see that, you know, there's not going to issue a house benefit and we don't need to, to, to deal with it, you know, through your ears, letters and so on. Yes. Okay. That would be lovely. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome, sir. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.